taxidermy kind of found me more than I found it. I had started by collecting bones. Um, I was really interested in cleaning bones and, and going that route with things. Um, I wanted to start doing rear articulations and I found a taxidermist here in Utah thinking that taxidermy and you know, essentially osteology were the same thing uh, and learned that that wasn't the case at all. I uh, wound up working for him as his apprentice, his shop hands, and then fell far more in love with taxidermy than I ever was with working on the bones. With my apprenticeship, I don't think I realized that I wanted it to be my career until um, my mentor was going to be closing down his shop. And I think up until that moment, I had thought I was just doing this as a hobby, and it wasn't until it was about to be taken from me that I was like, wait, no, this is, this is what I want to do. If you break it down to just like an animal, a, a single animal that comes into the shop, you're normally getting it um, while it's still green or, or raw, and you have to flesh it out that needs to be done the day, the moment it comes in because it's time sensitive at that point. And then we have to salt it and then send it to the tanner. Your day can be walking in and fleshing out a bunch of stuff and getting all that fat and meat down to nothing. Normal turnaround time for any animal is about a year. When I'm myself actually touching an animal, you're looking at about 10, 10 to 30 hours. <laughs> when you're working with our organics, especially you know an animal's skin, so much can go wrong or so much can be different from one animal to the next that there really is this the skill and patience that you need to have to make sure that you're recreating that animal when you have a customer come pick up their their pet you know that they've loved and and they start crying because they're happy to get that back and you provided that for them or people are, are excited it's their first year that they've ever shot with their dad you know and being able to provide them with that memory that you've got confidence in and they may have not seen that struggle to get to that point, but they're certainly enjoying the outcome of all that hard work. It's almost like meditative for me at times, and, and that's really been, been the everyday that, that pulls me back to it.